All right, I just hung up the phone with a client and I realized as I was talking to this person that I have not talked about this topic. I don't think ever in a video and I was so excited because I feel like I say the same things or very similar things in all of my videos and my topics. I feel like I've covered all of them, but this one I don't think I have. And I was talking about <clears throat> something that I had to, well, something I recognized in recovery, but something I then had to make a rule about was licking dishes, cleaning out containers, pulling food out of the trash, eating out of the sink. If someone like threw their leftovers, my kids would throw their leftovers in the sink and I'd like pull it out and eat it. Um, all of those are signs that you're really hungry, right? People who aren't starved don't do that. Really, really ravenous animals do that though, right? They don't care. If it's food, they're going to eat it. If I, if, I, if I put, you know, um, a container of yogurt that I had finished eating on the ground and my dog was hungry, they have no problem licking that out, right? So if that's you and you're in your eating disorder and you're looking at dishes and you're cleaning out containers and you're using your finger to, you know, wipe out all this, all the remnants of any, whatever food you're eating, you're really hungry. And so I had to make a rule. I can't do that in recovery anymore. Obviously finish your dish, finish your meal. Don't leave food behind. But when a yogurt container is gone, it's gone, right? You don't need to lick it out. Um, same thing with ice cream. Containers. When the ice cream has gone, it's gone. You don't need to lick out every last scraping. Um, throw it away. And then use that as a sign that you need more food. You need to go eat more food. You're obviously really, really, really hungry. So I made the, a rule. Anytime I even had a desire to do that, obviously I didn't do it because I was not allowing myself to anymore. But then I was forcing myself. I'm so sorry. But then I was forcing myself. I was forcing myself then to eat more food. Because if I cannot... I cannot walk away right now until I've eaten something. I have to force myself to eat a substantial amount of food right now because I'm obviously really hungry. And this was always after I'd finished a meal. I'd always finished eating and I was doing the licking of dishes and scraping the you know scraps off my kids' plates and all those things. And then I had to be like, okay, time to eat more food. So, and then the other thing um, that I was talking about with this client was I, when I eat food out of the out of the trash can or I'd eat like really old leftovers, like I remember getting food poisoning from shrimp. But when I did that, I got food poisoning a few times throughout my recovery. And I would eat these foods knowing that that was a possibility, but almost hoping that it was. Like almost hoping that if I get sick, you know what this means, Becky. Because I wasn't, I never had, um, believe me, I never threw up. And so I thought, well, if I get food poisoned, then I'm going to have to throw up. Like I'll be forced to throw up because I hate throwing up. But if my body's making me, then I'm going to have to throw up and then I'll probably be sick for like a day or two and I won't be able to eat and I'll have a reason to restrict. And, and then that kind of thinking, like seeking out food poisoning, what on earth? Like that is not a healthy brain. That is not something that anybody should be doing. <laughs> so if you're, if you're licking out dishes, if you're picking up scraps, if you're eating old food, if you're eating off the floor, all of those things are a sign that you're really, 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 I could say really for five minutes. I mean it. You are really, really hungry. You've got to go eat some food and a lot of it and keep eating for a really long time until you named it, right? You don't want to eat that food anymore. Or excuse me, you don't want to lick that container out anymore. You don't want to scrape anything completely clean. Um, you just don't have a desire to. Why would you? Like, why would? Why don't you just get more food if you wanted more food? Why don't you just get more ser another serving of that lasagna if you want another serving of that lasagna? If you want more ice cream, just go scoop some more ice cream. So use that as kind of a good gauge for kind of where you're at with, with your levels of hunger. So yeah, hopefully this video helps. And if you're a person listening, you don't need to feel ashamed of it. I mean, obviously to anyone else that would be listening to this, it doesn't have an eating disorder be like, that's completely insane. But you and I both know it's just kind of goes along with the territory of being really hungry. So don't have any shame about it. Um, just recognize it, that that's a problem and it needs to be worked through. You need to address that and you need to set some boundaries for yourself. No more licking these things. I'm going to eat instead. Okay, have a good day.